Hello everyone and welcome to Kernel of Wisdom. I'm Joelle and today I thought I'd share a little about the sneaky sacred and my family's thoughts on meditation. People are social beings. So when we change or start or want to maintain a new habit, we often want the support of others. It reminds me of that quote from Jim Rohn that says, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So when we start meditating and like it, there's a tendency to talk to everyone about it, trying to recruit friends and family to do it too. But people don't tend to trust or like when someone goes on enthusiastically about something that's out of their comfort zone, something that's new and different even if it's good for them. So what can you do? Well, sometimes the most powerful way to encourage people toward meditation is to be a really awesome example of what it can do for your life. That is the sneaky sacred. When people start to notice the positive changes in you because of meditation, they often ask why. And when you tell them about what you've experienced through meditation, they come to understand it better and may even start to become interested in trying. But not always. So be careful not to become too attached to that outcome. And as an example, I thought I'd share some of the thoughts, reflections, and learnings my own family has about meditation based on what they've observed through me and from me. Just sitting and doing nothing. Mindful meditation to me is uh, a state, it's a practice of um, getting in tune with your inner self, your inner mind, uh, nature, uh, your surroundings, other people, um, just knowing and sensing that there's more uh, around you uh, and more about you and where you fit in with all of that. Uh, and getting to know yourself. Mindfulness meditation is taking a moment just, or a moment or 20 minutes or whatever it is, to yourself just to try to be mindful about whatever it is you need to be mindful about. So whether it's you pick something going in or even just keep it a little more open to that and just give yourself the space to think a little bit more and be with your thoughts and see what comes up and then dig into that a little bit. Mindfulness meditation. Um, I think, I don't know, to me, probably taking the time to um, think about, you know, how you live and what you do um, and be reflective of that. Um, and, and I guess just, yeah, taking the time to think about it more than you typically would um, while you're doing it or um, as life is happening. I think the biggest notice um, of the change in Joelle has been the fact that she's become very uh, calm and she's very confident and uh, I've seen that as a huge change because you know she's always been a perfectionist and somebody that wants to be involved in this and that and whatever and it would be a very very stressful situation for her a lot of time and now I see her like, you know, taking everything in stride. She's calm, she's confident. Uh, she, she's a problem solver without getting hysterical and really stressed. Uh, and she seems to know herself. Mm, skinnier. Yeah, I mean, I think like, Joelle's been, become um, pretty in tune with like other people and pretty help, like, you know, you're helpful to other people. Not that you weren't before. Still. The same in me, basically, because you always were obsessive. Now you're obsessed with something else, that's all. Her self-awareness has gone up a lot. So I'll hear sometimes, oh, I did a meditation this morning about whatever, and, you know, I realized this. Or even sometimes you don't necessarily realize, like, a big aha moment, but more, hmm, maybe that's what that means, and I'm going to watch for that a little bit more. So I yeah, I would try it. Uh, being mindful for me just means being present. If I'm meditating and I'm just sitting there, then the mindfulness is just really being with, like noticing where my mind's at, where my thoughts are at, uh, and trying to stay with it. Just be patient and don't be hard on yourself. Like your brain is going to go all over the place. And that's normal. Just understanding that that's normal and don't beat yourself up and just know that it'll take time. And even if you're 
totally a beginner, five minutes a day is infinitely better than probably what you were doing before. So that's a win. Uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't meditated myself. Uh, the biggest advice I think is uh, meditation is something that you can do pretty much anywhere, at any time, um, as long as you have that quietness around you and uh, don't give up on them like you know because your expectations haven't been met you know in your first few times that you've done it because it is a long haul and it takes a lot of practice to actually get it down really well don't know much about it really well as you can see some people may be more influenced by what they see in you than others but no matter what, they all notice positive changes and can be supportive in the process. Well, I hope this video has helped to explain this sneaky sacred. And I hope you liked meeting some of my family. Thanks, fam. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a note or post them in the comment box below. Do not forget to subscribe for more mindful videos from Kernel of Wisdom. Otherwise, have a great day. Happy meditating and... Bye-bye.